Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi, this is Dita here with Heroes Bright Homeschool Academy. Welcome to class. It's good to have you here. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about present perfect tense using uh, answering with yes, no answers. So these are questions that just deserve a yes or no answer. Um, and our weekly fruit of the spirit is self-control. We're in our very final week of our grade two English. It's been really good having you. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. And I thank you for being a part of this um, this grade uh, this great year with Heroes for Homeschool Academy. It's been a true honor. But as you're leaving, make sure to ask the Holy Spirit to equip you, enable you, even empower you to walk in self controlled fashion to the glory of God the Father. I believe if you ask him, he'll fill you to the brim with the empowerment to live a clean and righteous and self-controlled life. Today we're talking about present purpose tense questions that are yes, no, uh, give you yes or no answers, such as have you ever eaten lizard before? Have you ever eaten a lizard before? No, I've never eaten lizard. Okay, what about this? Have you ever eaten elephant before? No, no, I've never eaten elephant, neither have I. Okay, try this one. Have you ever eaten alligator before? No, you've never eaten alligator, no worries, I haven't either. Although, here's another one. Have you ever eaten snail? Have you ever eaten snail? No, I think I have taken a bite of it once before and it was so chewy and waxy. I didn't like it. But I know people who eat snails, so they would say yes. You may say yes, you may be saying no, I'm not sure. Okay, let's ask some, uh, some uh, questions about, uh, that'll probably get a yes. Have you ever eaten rice before? Yes, I hope so, that's a simple food. Have you ever eaten bread? Yes, yes, I've eaten bread. What about chicken? Have you ever eaten chicken? Yes, yes. Um, have you ever eaten, uh, let's see, maybe beef? Have you ever eaten beef? Maybe, yes, no, it depends, yeah. Whenever you're asking present perfect tense, you're going to start with have you or, you know, um, pre present perfect, just so as a reminder, uh, demands that these particular verbs have and has so they usually come with with these uh as starters compared with you know uh, you could also ask you know uh, if i were to ask what have you been doing just by adding that what there you have to answer the question beyond a yes or no answer so if i say what have you been doing but when i just say have you is going to demand just a yes simple Yes or no answer. Please take them out. Take out time to complete the exercise in the workbook and and um, just to solidify your understanding of present perfect tense. Yes or no questions with yes or no answers. Thank you so much for coming to class, for being a part of today's lesson. Until next time, remember, Jesus loves you, and so do we. God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you start with heroes born, I will be your friend, so don't you worry.